What's up, everybody? Mr. Farrakhan asked a question a couple years ago, I guess. What do they want us to do? What do they want us to do? What does that mean? Well, what do white people want us to do? Black people, what do they want us to do about our treatment, the way we are treated here in America? Now, <clears throat> take out the fact that, you know, we have black on black crime because you got white on white crime. You got Asian on Asian crime and everything else. So they try to throw that at us and say, well, black people kill black people, too. Our, I, I, I would I would. With uh, great certainty, say that if you gave black people or black people had the same opportunities at life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness and getting a decent job with a decent wage for the education that they have, uh, I would I would have believed that they would. Uh, not commit crime because they'd be too busy doing what they love to do or want to do. When somebody's given the opportunity to do something they like, they tend to focus on that and not other things. I, I, I always say I'm from Watts. Now, I didn't have any uh, interest in gang banging, but if I was... You know, if that was my only options at that particular moment to get me some money, um, I probably would have taken it. But, you know, luckily I had a, uh, a family and a nuclear family, my grandparents and my parents, even my aunts and uncles uh, to a degree. So I didn't have to go that route. Um, you know, being from Watts, you, you know, it's basically a couple of ways that you get out of out of the hood either uh you know you play ball football basketball baseball or something um maybe you get the education to be able to go to college and get away from you know from the inner city if you have a good enough grades do so or uh you go in the military get a job or you uh gangbang and you go to jail and then they'll ship you <laughs> Uh, to another part of the state. One of them options. I didn't want none of those. I went to the military. So that was that. But white people, what do you want us to do? This brother Micah, he decided he was done being a victim. He killed for America, or possibly killed for America, going to Afghanistan. Now they bring up the whole he had a restraining order and sexual harassment and all this and that. Um, but the bottom line is they train this man to kill. And then when you come home and you don't have opportunities and things of that nature, you know, you get tired of it. You get seeing your brothers getting killed for nothing. It's getting so bad that everybody is starting to, you know, look at America with, uh, they, they, you know, they used to look at America with rose-colored glasses on. Now they're taking them off. Um, the Bahamas, 90% black, issuing, you know, travel warnings. Bahrain, um, New Zealand, uh, a couple other countries issuing travel warnings to their uh, citizenry about interacting with and taking part of uh, p uh, political statements and things like that and interacting with police here in America. They know what whites and water-carrying Negroes try to hide from everybody about America. And the only reason that America is even still feared is because we have the biggest, baddest military on the planet. Other than that, America would be laughed at and told, go the fuck away. But I don't advocate violence in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I, I say that every time. But it's only so far that you can push 
anyone before they react. There's only so far you can push a dog into a corner before it snaps at you. It's not, you know, out of fear, out of survival, out of whatever, but the bottom line is it's only so far you can push them before they say, you know what, I had enough. White people basically have pushed us to that that corner. Now, it can be argued very badly, but it can be probably argued that uh, Brother Sterling was fighting with the police in the outset before the videotape started rolling on the cell phone. Oh, that guy that recorded the altercation between Sterling and the police, he's been arrested, of course. Um, but the bottom line is at the end, they had him subdued from that point on of them having his, having control of his body, anything that they did to him was now a violation of his civil rights and was breaking the law. They killed that man. They murdered that man. Uh, the brother in brother Castillo in Minnesota, even their own governor said they killed that man. It, it was racism. Now they're talking about he had a, a wide nose. Now, if that don't get you thrown in jail in vi or as a violation of the man's civil rights based on race, I don't know what is. I'm not advocating any violence, but we need to do something to make these people feel us. We need to have an economic boycott. Don't spend money on non-essentials. What is this, July? August, September, October, November, December. We got about, what, four months, five months left of this, of this year. The biggest shopping days and times and stuff like that are coming up. We about to have uh, Thanksgiving and whatnot. Don't buy nothing. You don't need to be celebrating their holidays for what? You celebrating Thanksgiving. You celebrating the murder of Native Americans. What do you need to celebrate that for? If you want to celebrate because you want to be with your family, that's cool, whatever. But don't do it. Do it after. Do it way after Thanksgiving. Black Friday. Don't go out and buy nothing from, from their stores. Boycott. Boycott go shopping unless it's essentials. We don't need to be spending up our money with them no way. Hell, they don't want to pay us what we're worth, so we don't need to be giving it back so as fast as we get it. We need to make these people feel the pain. Now, I've heard that they have an economic boycott against certain companies because they are supporting these police. Well, let's find out. I don't know exactly what companies they are. If anybody want to put down in the uh, comment section what companies they are boycotting, um, by all means, go ahead and do that. I'll find out, and if I do, if I, you know, if I find out, I'll, I'll make another video about it, just in case nobody finds out. But uh, if you want to support murderers, then we don't need to be supporting you. I think Coca-Cola is one of the companies, uh, so we need to, you know, not buy Coca-Cola products. They got about 15 different sodas and and chips and such that we don't need to be buying. Don't need it no way. It's bad for you. So, you know, we need to make them feel the pain that we feel. But on a lighter note, I want to thank and welcome every person that I didn't get to thank and welcome and even people I did to our time now. Just in case you did not know, Our Time Now is a website built for, by, and with the support of black people uh, across the diaspora. That means black people in America, South America, the islands, every country and corner of this planet. We welcome all black people that want to rebuild the black race, that want to rebuild the relationship between the black man and woman to create more black babies, 
and perpetuate the race across the planet. So we thank you and welcome you to the family. We welcome you to the movement. So that's basically all I got at the moment because my brain is, I got so many thoughts I can't put them all together. So all I can say is, uh, it's our time now. <laughs>